protests erupted across the country after that verdict was read and new at 10. Theo Keith is back from one of them in downtown Madison, Theo. Well, Jen, 200 or so people showed up. Some who came said they were sad and angry with yesterday's verdict, but not surprised. Among the crowd outside the Capitol, emotions climbed right along with the temperature. It is very hot, but it's for a great cause. Some, like Alex Shabazz, wore hoodies to honor Trayvon Martin after a jury found George Zimmerman not guilty of murder. I was incredibly angry, incredibly angry and hurt. I'm just here just as a human being to uh, support the needless and uh, incredibly wasteful death of a promising young man. Some put their thoughts on paper, others use their mouths. I'm sitting up living in a society where it's open season on blacks. Um, and, and I think a lot of other people are too, and that's why we're here to do something about it. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? Now! The rally went off without violence. A long list of people spoke to the crowd of a couple hundred with one main goal. I actually challenge this racist criminal justice system. One man urged people not just to stand up to racism at the rally, but in classrooms and at work. A lot of people are angry, so it's just taking that anger and using that as positive action. When Shabazz got the mic, she didn't hold back. I'm here to say that I'm here. I'm young, I'm black, and I'm mad, and it's okay to be mad. 1,300 miles from where they believe justice was not served. What's his name? Trayvon Martin. These people hope a hot afternoon of rallies marks a new beginning. The way Trayvon could beat, I could be hot for a couple hours. George Zimmerman's lawyer says he hopes people can allow the free man to live his life without threats now. He says prosecutors never could have proved the murder charge and wouldn't have even taken it to court if Zimmerman were black. Theo Keith reporting tonight. Thank you yeah. for sharing that.